absolute pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I have to ask you, you know, this is a charming film, great chemistry. Uh, what would it take for you to drop everything in your career and not to go get a life of politics? To go into politics, <laughs> I think I've already made some decisions in my life that would preclude me from um, a presidential run. Although, you know, this day and age, the standards seem to be kind of uh, uh, changing. Yeah. So maybe, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I really admire people who get into politics. I'm not sure it's for me. I think you affect change through film and entertainment. Perfect. <laughs> uh, I heard that you're really into music. And I, I am, yeah. I ask this because I'm from Salt Lake. Yeah. And one of the songs in your film that opens the film is from a Salt Lake band called Thunderfist. <gasps> And they're friends of mine, and we're all curious how you found out about it. Okay, so <laughs> this is very, very funny. So it's it's in the uh, the the scene in the, the opening scene. The opening scene. Okay, so we were looking for look uh, the content of that opening scene is pretty provocative. Yeah. And we were having you know we put a lot of like big pop songs in there as the rest of the movie has sure. you know, and uh, we started to feel like people might not want their music associated with um, <laughs> that, scene. The, that scene. So what ended up happening was we thought this will be a, a chance to like expose a new band or break a new band. Yeah. And our music supervisor, a guy named Jim Schultz, do you know him? I do not. Okay, well he knew this band <laughs> and he and we just started playing it under the scene and it was great because it's yeah. a really cool song. It's really aggressive. Yep. Um, and yeah, they're a really cool band. That's so funny. So awesome. you know them personally. I, oh yeah, I know, uh, know a lot of them. Ask so. them if they know Jim Schultz. I will ask them. All right. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what is a weird movie that you have watched more than 30 times? Wow, a weird movie that I've watched more than 30 times. I watched, you know, I, I watched a lot of really bad movies growing up many, <laughs> many times. Um, you know, some movies that are that are not bad. I wa I've watched The Secret of My Success many times. It's a Michael J. Fox movie. <laughs> That's a great one. It's a great movie. Um, Major League, I've watched many, many times. These are not kind of as, as let's say, uh, critically derided as Encino Man. By the way, unfairly, Encino Man is also a brilliant film. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what other Polly Shore movie. Biodome, of course, the classic. Biodome, Son-in-Law. Jury Duty. Okay, so you know a lot about Polly Shore. You were <laughs> just, just trying to show up. Movies. Here's the thing. Like, well, I just remember because I used to work in a video store. So every every time you say one of these movies, I just remember the box. Yeah. Which Polly Shore standing with a pitchfork on the front of uh, what was the one you just said? Jury Duty. Jury Duty. Yeah. Right? Maybe. It's a remake of Twelve Angry Men. It's a remake of 12 Angry Men. It's not a good remake of it. Well, because like I saw 12 Angry Men in film school and I was like, I wish Polly Shore was in it. I think everyone did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, for this one, um, you know, you, you've done all uh, sort, sorts of genres and people always ask me what movie has made you cry. Yeah. And I, or even ugly cry, just going like that. And I have to say it was your film 50-50. Thank which you. Which is a brilliant film. Thank you very much. And I'm curious what film has made you ugly cry. Okay, so I have a very good answer for this because it's a movie I just watched, and it is, strangely, Mamma Mia 2. Here we oh, go again. Oh, wow. Have you seen this movie? I have not yet. Okay, so the end of the movie, I'm not going to give it away, <laughs> but it is one of the most emotional scenes I've ever seen in a movie. Yeah. So um, I'm glad I'm really selling you on some really like high quality cinema at this point. Uh, but yes, it's it's I'm 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 being not ironic in the least. Yeah. It's a it's a my wife and I were watching it like a week ago yeah. in bed. And we both, it was the type of crying where we couldn't not make a noise. We were just like, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, it, I, I promise anyone out there, watch the end of Mamma Mia 2. You could just go right to, you probably should start like halfway through. You know what, start at the beginning. Yeah. If you have time. Um, and yeah, the ending is incredibly emotional. I'm a little upset you didn't say jury duty, but that's all right. All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> nice.